We are happy to receive the news that uh, our growth rate uh, for the year 2022 uh, exceeded all expectations, even uh, by the estimates of uh, the uh, international uh, financing uh, institutions. And we are holding it at 7.6%. However, for 2023, we still have the problem of inflation, which means there is still a problem of uh, certain sectors of society and of the economy uh, have yet to enjoy uh, the benefits of that growth. And that is why inflation is something that we are attending to. We anticipate that uh, within the end of the second quarter, the inflation rates, especially for agricultural products, will come down. Hopefully, uh, as uh, um, has been forecast by our central bank, uh, the inflation rate by the third, fourth quarter of, the, uh, next, of this year will come down to 4%. We must maintain, however, that growth rate. And that is why it, is, it has become so important for us to go out and to attract investment into the Philippines because that is the only way for economic activity to increase and therefore to grow the economy. So I think that we are headed in the right direction. We still have some interventions that we will have to apply. But uh, nonetheless, uh, we are weathering the shocks from the international um, uh, economic situation and we are starting to see that the economy is moving in the correct direction.